the text that you have seen were not generated by ChatGPT. It was generated by Copy AI, a new AI that looks just like ChatGPT, but the platform and the creation, everything is different from ChatGPT. There's a lot of differences, but I find this Copy AI to be exceptionally very beneficial, very, very compatible. So you can use it to generate different kind of content depending on the area that you are interested in. So to start with, all you need to do is to come to your browser and type Google. You can come over down here and just come to the search bar directly and just go to Copy AI. So you can just search for Copy AI and it will bring you over here. The first one is the one we are targeting. So you can see www.copy.ai or you can see copy.ai create content in seconds. So by just clicking, you can, you'll be brought into this place. You can see whatever you want to ask, our chat has the answer, just like chat GPT. It's the same way. It gives you very, very fine answer and you can refine it. You can ask it to regenerate content or to improve the content, or you can specify some key areas that you're interested in to be covered during the result or, or during the printing. So you can see now you can go ahead and start by signing up using your email address, or you can sign up with Google, which is what I'm going to do. So once you have these two options, you can sign up with your email address and password, or you can just go ahead and sign up with Google. So let's say I'm going to sign up with Google, you put in your email address and password. So I'll just uh, put in my email address and password and I will see you at the other end. So once you log into copy.ai, this is where you are going to be brought in. You brought into this very platform. So the first thing you need to do is to name the project. So you can come over here, double click, select everything and name it my second task, for example. So my second task, you just click out and it's going to save it as a project at any given point if you're interested in uh, creating a new project you can come all the way to the top right you can see new project from here and it's going to create a new project for you so you can see the platform uh, kind of look like the one we have with chat gpt so you can see you can start typing your prompt from here you can browse from available prompts so you can just choose based on your own area or niche that you are trying to cover so these are some sample prompts like the real-time prompts you can summarize the latest news about generative ai and then this is long term long form content if you're trying to create a blog post you're trying to create a particular a post about a given subject you can just uh, give it the, um, the prompt and it's going to give you that particular answer this is just an example and then we have brainstorm ideas if you want to create a business proposal or you want to create a, a description of a product or you want to create any social integral um, social media posts of different types you can just come over here and ask it to generate all that for you and it's going to generate all that. And one thing I classify this as a bit better than ChatGPT is because it has the editor by the right. So whatever results you have, you can come to the editor and you have multiple uh, options and features that you can use to edit your content and then output it to any platform of your choice. So let's start by writing a simple text or a simple essay with this very chat AI or with this very chat. So you just be at the chat over here and you can start writing. If you have a number of projects that you've worked on, you can access them from here. You can have info base. This is where you can put in more information about your brand or the about, and then the brand voice also. And then we have series of templates, which I'm going to show you in cases if you're interested in creating a blog post or if you're creating, you know, you're going to create a social media post or is it a product description? I'm going to show you some of the templates that you can use. But for now, let's just use this to write a simple essay about climate change. Okay, so take a look at this. Can you write a 500 words um, essay about climate change? And the key details I want you to cover is cover some of the advantages and disadvantages. So this, these are the specific things I want. And I can just go ahead and click on this enter to start. And you can see very, very fast. You just start writing. Absolutely. Here is a 500 word essay on climate change. So you can see covering the advantages and the disadvantages. It is pretty fast and it's giving us a conclusion at the end of it all. You can see very, very fast it is giving us the answer. So let's take a look at just the review of what it has written. So you can see now absolutely here's a 500 essay word on climate change and then it, can, it has given us the climate change as a title, advantages and disadvantages. 
Now it's has defined climate change at the beginning or the introductory part, then it has given us some key advantages and key disadvantages, three advantages and three disadvantages. So let's say we want to improve this right up. So I want it to give me more content. I can just come down here and say, can you give me more content? You can just hit on enter or com come over and click on this. And it's going to give me more content as regards this, uh, still taking you through the advantages, giving you more advantages, giving you more disadvantages and, and a conclusion at the end of it all. So you can see everything is now well written according to what I want. So I can just come over. I have the option to copy this or I have the option to add to the editor. I can add to the editor directly and I have all the text that I've generated in this editor you can see so while at the editor you can see we can edit we can undo certain things and we can bold certain part of the text for example we can select the intro and we can bold it or we can italize it or we can underline we can do all that from here or you can um, make a particular section to be heading one or heading two or heading three they are about this heading one, this heading two, and this heading three. You can also come to these three dots and you'll be able to uh, enable bulleted list or ordered list or strike through if you so wish. For example, uh, let's say I want to put everything here into some bulleted list. So you can just come to these three dots and I can put it into a bulleted list and you can see everything is now bulleted. Or if you want to make it into an ordered list, you can see it is now ordered list one, two, three, or you can make it into a quote. You can put any section into your quote if you so wish. So you can add all this as uh, the case may be. So this is into a little bit of a quote. So depending, you can add, do basic editing from this uh, editor directly and you can close at any given point and you can always access the editor from here. If you are done or you're tired or you are trying to create a new project, you can always go over and create a new project from here or you can clear the chart directly from here. But then let's say I want to copy everything. So just select copy and then maybe I can come to my docs google.com create an account over here and i can just come over here and just paste it you can just come over here and paste it and you can see you have just pasted the document or the text that you've copied from the chart so let's try to check the templates some of the templates and how you can use them so all, of, all you need is come to templates and you can see different kind of templates this is the general templates that you have you can just check this uh, general one if you have custom come over here and create custom uh, templates or you, if you are interested in blogs these are different ways to create uh, blog posts or social media content or email marketing or the about or fun things you can still come of, come over here or website copy and another way uh, another way you can do you can explain a particular website or summarize a particular website just from the link that it has provided so let's take a look at this website that talks about public speaking for example public speaking tips for students I'm interested in this website and I want to summarize the content of it using this chart. So all I need is just to come over here and copy the link, go back to chart and you can come over here. Can you summarize content of this link? So I can just press the link. Okay. And you can see certainly it has um, given me the summary of that particular blog. You can see it has given me the summary in bulleted points. So you can go ahead and add this to the editor or you can copy it and paste it anywhere you are interested in. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a bit about how to use the copy AI chart to create different kind of content or for your own digital content or blog post or any kind of social media post that you are interested in creating or emails. You can create emails with it as well. We can reply to emails and do all sort of things with it. So just go ahead and give it a try. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it for now. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.